Who was Vincent Van Gogh really? When did he die? When was he born? What inspired him to do his oil on canvases? Let's learn more about Vincent Van Gogh and who he was, and how he came to be. Vincent Van Gogh was born March 30th, 1853, in Zutphen, Netherlands. He was a child of six, and his nationality was Dutch. In the 1960s, in Europe, Nero's cultures began to spread, social behaviors began to rise, and political upheavals were being debated. Then, in the 1970s, new empires, imperialism, and militarism rose, spreading all throughout. This is a picture of Vincent Van Gogh at age 11. At this age, he was already exploring. The meanings of art, trying to understand what he would want to draw. Little did he know that his drawings and his paintings would be worth millions. In the summer of 1880, Vincent Van Gogh began to expand his artist abilities. Around this time, he also began to put more of his drawing on oil canvases. Vincent loved to have other artists look and critique his work. His most frequent visitor. Was an artist called Paul Gauguin. Vincent Van Gogh cut off his earlobe in December of 1888 after getting into a fight with his artist friend Paul Gauguin. Here is a self-portrait he did not do long after he cut off his earlobe in France, then took it off in front of a prostitute. Although Vincent Van Gogh was never diagnosed with psychological problems, he had many issues, understanding and coping with his feelings. Many people considered him to be insane. Now we're going to look at five of his most famous art pieces. Currently, we are looking at the Starry Night, painted in 1889. Now located in the Museum of Modern Art in New York City, the painting we are currently looking at is called "Sunflowers," painted in 1888, located in Amsterdam, Netherlands, at the Van Gogh Museum. This is an example of many still life oil canvases Vincent Van Gogh did. This painting is called "Irises." Painted in 1889, currently located in the J. Paul Getty Museum in Los Angeles, California. This is called the Cafe Terrace at Night. Painted on September 16th, 1888, currently located in the Kralle Müller Museum in Otello, Netherlands. This painting in English is called Arles, but in Dutch is Arlet. This painting was done in 1888. It is currently located in the Van Gogh Museum in Amsterdam, Netherlands. Now we are going to consider the oil canvas art piece I will be analyzing. But before that, let us look at some background knowledge. We are currently looking at the artist. Van Gogh, which is Vincent Van Gogh's brother, he wrote many letters to his brother, describing his life and his artworks. Vincent Van Gogh had little success maintaining personal relationships. He put himself in an asylum with the assistance of his brother Theo. After being released, he was under the care of Dr. Gachet. Who became like a friend to Vincent Van Gogh? The man we are currently looking at, his name is Paul Gajet, also known as Doctor Gajet. He is the man we are going to see in the next oil canvas that I will be critically analyzing. Although Vincent Van Gogh had little success maintaining personal relationships, he actually liked Doctor Gajet. In a specific letter he wrote to Theo, he states, "Today I saw Doctor Gajet again, and I am going to paint at his house on Tuesday morning. Then I shall dine with him, and afterward he will come look at my paintings." Now prepare yourself. We are going to be looking at the oil on canvas of Doctor Gajet for 
a couple minutes. The oil on canvas was completed June 1890 in the house of Dr. Gajet, located in a northwest suburb of Paris, France. In the image, we clearly see Dr. Gajet. He is leaning his head on his right hand, looking in a diagonal direction. His elbow is on a red-green colored table, and his hand is touching the edge of the table. He is wearing the blue colored jacket. The jacket overall is in different shades of blue. The orange. Although his hair is orange, it is a seemingly bright shade. He does not use neon bright colors in his work. His background has blues, greens, and black lines that outline certain objects like his jacket. The effect he uses on his background is giving the illusion of moving waves. On the table, we see a plant known as a purple medical herb box club. Plants were something he liked to draw with his liking of nature. The plant has purple-blue petals and green-yellow stem. Two yellow books are in front of his right hand he's leaning on. If you look closely at Dr. Gajet, his eyes seem to be crossed, and his pupils are different shades of gray-blue. The art piece has expressive and organic lines located on the hands, Dr. Gajet, outline of the flowers, and Dr. Gajet's face. Also, implying lines seem to be on the background. Shapes we see in the artwork are Dr. Gajet's face, the vase, the books, his hands, the coat, the hat, and the table. The background has implied texture because you can visualize the waves moving, but you cannot touch. Also, the implied lines in the background seem to want to mess with your eyes. The background is full of negative space because nothing is actually occupying it except the different shades of blue and green. Therefore, Dr. Gajet is the focal point. Positive space begins to occur when the books, the vase, the face of Dr. Gajet and his body start blending in to the right side of the canvas, overtaking the background. Warm colors are used on the painting, like light brown, orange, red. You can see these in Dr. Gajet's hair, face, the hat, the books, the table, and his hands. Cool colors are also used, like green, blue, blue-green, and gray. More prominent in the upper part of the picture background. Asymmetrical balance occurs in the painting. Both sides have a hint of yellow, blues, but the table is green-red, therefore there are not mirror images. There is a contrast on what Dr. Gadget's face is expressing and what the background is expressing versus the colors on the table, the, the books, flowers, and Dr. Gadget's hands. A pattern seems to occur with the different shades of blue yellow and the hint of orange blending in so putting it all together Dr. Gajet is a painting that Vincent Van Gogh did interpreting Dr. Gajet in the moment when the painting was occurring we see iconography with the herb flowers and the yellow books then biographical studies when looking at his body figure overall we do a cycle analytical theory to further understand what both Vincent and Dr. Gajet were thinking when the piece was getting completed. Dr. Gajet looks like a middle-aged man, unhappy, leaning on his right hand in a blue room, trying to better understand if this is all life has to offer. This is a second version of Dr. Gajet, also completed in 1890. This is my artwork. I chose to use some of Vincent Van Gogh's pattern in the different shades of blue, then making the book yellow, and having a sort of plant in the background also.